you're Angela Bauer, I'm here to help you. I beg your pardon. I'm Tony Maselli. I'm here about the job. Oh, I'm sorry. There must be a mistake. This job is for a housekeeper. That's me, Mr. Goodmark. <laughs> uh, well, uh, my mother's screening everyone. Did you meet her? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Uh, you know, she gave me the once-over, kicked me in the tires, put me up on a rack. Uh, well, she should have checked under your hood, because you're the wrong sex. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. She said that wouldn't be any problem. My mother didn't think World War II was a problem. <laughs> oh, that must be Jonathan. Cute kid. <laughs> yes, he is. You must be Jonathan. That's right. How did you know? Now, uh, your grandmother told me. You're king of the reptiles, right? That's me! Okay. <laughs> All I could say is I really need the job. I mean, my daughter needs a good place to grow up. And uh, I got a feeling maybe you need us. It's OK with me, Mom. There you go. There's the deciding vote. <laughs> I guess we could give it a try. We got ourselves a new pan, all right. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to bathe I go. <laughs> Going down the path with my bubble bath. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Hi ho, hi holy smoke. Uh huh. Hi, Mrs. Bow. Well, I'm glad you're okay, man, and I love you, but boy, you're in big trouble. Yeah, I figured. I'll give you, you figured. Give me that baseball glove. <laughs> give me the glove. Your baseball days are over for at least a month. Tony! Hey, Mrs. Rossini! You got the kids? Good. Don't be too hard on them, Tony. Remember when you was a kid? You got drunk on altar wine and mooned the little sisters of hope. <laughs> you were so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, uh... At least I was home on time for dinner, Miss Rosini. Hey, by the way, Miss Rosini's my boss, Angela Bauer. Hello. Very nice to meet you. What's that? Speak up, honey. I can't hear you. Uh, she says you look much younger than she thought. Yeah? Stay right there. I'm coming down. <laughs> hey, she hardly ever comes down. Ooh. So Tony's working for you, huh? That's right. What exactly does he do? Various things. Yeah? He used to do various things for me, too, only I didn't have to pay him. Hey, Teresa, why don't you just go get the drinks, huh? Lovely girl. Yeah, well, she sort of let herself go, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, try some of these. These are great. Peanuts, pretzels, and uh, cheese Mmm. What are the little black things? I don't worry about them. They can't eat much. <laughs> Martini for the fellows, and beer for the house. <laughs> Let me get that all over you, Lord and Taylor. Hey, hey, that's enough. Hey, I'm just doing my job, all right? Is he any good with the mop? Very. Yeah, I never heard of a man keeping house. Not a real man. Hey, Teresa, why don't you just put a lid on it, huh? Look out, guys. The housekeeper's getting steamed. What you gonna do, flump my pillows? <laughs> Tony, show us what you're made of. Whip out your feather duster. Look, Teresa. I think you're right. I think we better go. Tugboat Annie here obviously is trying to bait us, and I just refuse to stoop to her level. You're so right. Let's go. Don't you want to finish your drink? Teresa, this is my boss. Will you take it easy here? Why not? I thought maybe I could help you. Oh, all right. There you are. Well, that certainly does help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Supposing someone should come in, though. Oh, so what? Oh, I don't 
Uh, I'm just not ready to go public yet. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Oh? Then does that mean you told your mother? <laughs> mother, you... You look beautiful. Oh, you're just saying that. <laughs> But you could say it some more. <laughs> All right. Mother, you look beautiful. Oh, who am I trying to kid? I'm acting like an old fool. Don't ever say that. I don't have to say it, Angela. You said it for me. Oh, for crying out loud, Mother, you've never listened to me before. Why are you going to start now? <laughs> well, you've always been a pretty smart cookie. Oh, it's because I take after you. Well, Miss Scarlet, there's your date. I... I can't go through with this. You tell him something. What should I say? I don't know. I'll think about that tomorrow. <laughs> Hey. Hi, Tony. Boy, you look as sharp, champ. Wow! Gee, it reminds me of my senior prom. Of course, I was only there half the time. Me and Bobby Guvinelli were sharing a tux. <laughs> Tony, I, I remember that suggestion you made. I took care of it. It's a great idea. Oh, it's gonna be great. All right, I'm gonna get it. So, you think I should go? That's up to you. You're a big girl now, Mother. <laughs> it's time for me to let go. <laughs> Just here for moral support. Oh. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. They're playing your song. Of all the girls I know, ye sweet go ahead like a rainbow trail fades in the Okay, now you come in, you see him, he's wet, he's sexy, he's really smelling good. Huh? For a week. <laughs> I'll do the jokes, babe. <laughs> now you, you get one whiff and you, you lose control. Okay? Okay. Here we go. That's great, that's great, sweetheart. Nuzzle his ear, nuzzle his ear. <laughs> Oh, you, uh, you nuzzle great. Yeah, well, you move your hand one more inch, and they're gonna be calling you Van Gogh. That's great, that's great. Now, Ginger, honey, now let's have your line. I like it, too. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, from the top. Places, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see some suds, Tom. Hey, what? Come on. Now, Tom. Yeah. Just act natural. Do whatever it is you do in the shower. <laughs> Anything I do? <laughs> la luna met su mare, Except sing. No sense. You want a donut, Angela? Don't talk to me. Well, that's gratitude for you. I mean, I brought you your new star. You're gonna change your tune when we're packing for the love boat. Bon voyage, mother. Okay, Tony, just read what you see on the cue cards, okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And action! <laughs> Sure. You probably shower every day. But even if you didn't, no one would know. Not if... Uh, well, uh, we won't have Robert to kick us around anymore. He left? Yeah, I told him I'd take care of things, and maybe now we can relax. Oh, thank God we're alone. <laughs> well, we've been alone before. Yeah, sure. Just not by candlelight. <laughs> 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 
Sorry. Hmm. So quiet around here. <laughs> without the kids. Yeah, like a whole meal without the kids, huh? The whole meal. The whole night. We can sleep in in the morning. <laughs> I mean, you can sleep in and I can sleep in. <laughs> Have some more wine. <laughs> after all these years. How do I look? What about Tony? Oh, Tony. Um, tell him thanks anyway, but I'll get a ride with Robert. He thought he was more than a ride, and you know it. He is so sweet. Oh, there's the limo. I've got to go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about Tony? Angela? He's a housekeeper. Robert's a... Well, he's a homebie. You'll explain things to Tony. You're good at that. OK, you want an explanation? Mr. Lapari is my father's landlord. I've been paying the rent on his apartment. <laughs> and what about the mysterious dark-haired woman? That's the mysterious dark-haired daughter of Mr. Lapari. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Dad. Long time since we talked, huh? We talked this morning, remember? You asked me how I wanted my eggs, and I said, oh, easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. That was great. Uh, I mean, uh, talk, talk. When people reach a certain age, honey, they begin to, um, they begin to have trouble catching footballs. <laughs> Well, not all people, just girls. Well, no, women, women. Here. Oh. I knew it. I knew she didn't want one of those. I knew it. Well, no, I wanted one like Marcy's with a little pink bow in the middle. <laughs> you wanted the pink bow? Why? Because everyone's going to see it. Hey, who's gonna see it? Everyone. All the girls at gym class and at the slumber parties. Oh. <laughs> Dad, you just don't understand. You have to have the little pink bow. Hey, look, I'll go someplace else and I'll get you one with the bow. Why don't you just take that one back to where you got it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. We'll go someplace else, but this time you gotta go with me. Dad. Remember, remember when we went shopping for hockey skates? Yeah. That was fun, because you know a lot about hockey skates. I mean, you even wear them yourself, right? Yeah. I'll bet Angela doesn't know a thing about hockey skates. <laughs> you want Angela to take you, huh? Thanks, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> At almost everything. <laughs> Have a nice day at the office. Tony, what can you tell me about the red Jaguar that's in the driveway with my license plates on it? Little paint really picked that buggy up, huh? <laughs> I was hoping you could tell me that the garage had made a horrendous mistake, which even now as we speak, they are rushing over to rectify at no additional charge. I could tell you that. I could tell you that. It wouldn't be the truth, but I could tell you that. <laughs> Angela, I wanted to say sandalwood, but it just kind of came out red. You told them to do this? Well, you know, you were sort of intrigued with the idea, right? I mean, going down the parkway to sunroof to sing in Chaka Khan. I said <laughs> sandalwood. The color of wood or the color of sandals, but not the color of that. Well, maybe I could pay to have it. Fifteen. Hundred dollars. 
That's gonna, you won't believe this, but it's gonna work out perfect. I mean, by the time I can afford it, you'll need a painter, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? There is a line between employer and employee, and you just crossed over it. Hey, wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. I don't pay you to make decisions around here. I pay you to do the damn floors. You are just the maid around here, and don't you forget it. Let me guess. <laughs> Princeton? Remarkable. <laughs> uh, just a shot in the dark. Say, you wouldn't happen to play handball. Don't bet on it, Jim. McKenna's the name. Handball's the game. <laughs> I'll be darned. Uh, Miss, Miss Bauer, can I trouble you for a minute? Not now, Tony. I think this is the right time. <laughs> Will you excuse me? <laughs> What's wrong? Is there a problem in the kitchen? No, but you're blowing it out here. I beg your pardon. You're letting this Peterson creep take over. I can hold my own with him. Thank you very much. Green Bay's washed up. The team's gonna have to rebuild. What do I say? You're telling the Jets are looking good. Ryan's threading needles and Rebs is kicking us to a Super Bowl. I really don't know that much about the AFC. The Jets look good. Ryan's threading needles and Ramsey's kicking us straight to the Super Bowl. You don't say. Well, what do you think about New England? Oh, it's beautiful this time of year. <laughs> he puts out his glasses, looks around and says, who's next? <laughs> Will it be? Same thing? Yeah, we might as well celebrate. My day is finally dawning. With Angela's free ride leaving the company, I think the board of directors under McKenna are finally going to come to their senses. Hey, wait a minute. What do you mean, free ride? Angela earned the position. Oh, I don't doubt that at all. I just wonder what she had to do for Grant to earn it. Hey, oh, oh, hey. You know? Well, I mean, it's common knowledge. And you hung that tulip paper in the bathroom yourself. I did, I did. It's very simple. Actually, what you Lovely you tour. Room? Now, where is that Peterson fellow? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, a, a toast That's to... It. Let's go. Come on, pal. Let's wait, go. Wait, wait a minute. Come wait on. a minute. Do you have any idea who I am? I am Vice it's... President of Wallace and the Great. Oh, Angela. I mean, what was I going to do? Mr. Brubaker upstairs was going to be thrown out of his apartment if he didn't get rid of him. Well, how come they're letting you stay? Well, they're not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Eviction city. Eviction? Mm. Mother, that means you're getting thrown out. Didn't go to graduate school for nothing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, where are you going to stay? Well, I... What are all those suitcases doing out there? <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to stay here. I never thought of that. <laughs> Hope. Don't look now, man, but your muffler's moving. <laughs> who are you? Uh, who am I? Who are you? Don't tell me. Another door-to-door -door snake salesman? Michael. Uh, hi, Angela. Do you know the guy? Here we are. The uh, boa's from Brazil. <laughs> I guess maybe I should have called first. You're not big on dropping guests. <laughs> Angela? What? Oh, now, don't be like that. Look, it's just a harmless little boa constrictor. I'll, I'll put him away. I think you're missing the point, Michael. The snake is welcome here. Isn't she a cutie, huh? Crawled into my sleeping bag one night in the Amazon. Oh, that's very funny, Michael. Hey, she's my main squeeze. <laughs> hey, hey, Angela, hey, who is this clown? Tony, this is Michael Bauer. Well, ba ba Bauer? Bauer's your name. That's where I got it. This clown is my husband. Husband? Yeah, you know, husband. Dun, 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 dun. I got the picture, I got the picture. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Angela, you said you were divorced. I don't think I ever said that, Tony, because I'm not. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. But, uh, but wait a minute. When I moved in here, you told me your husband left you, and then you never brought him up again. Well, I didn't think it was anything you needed to know. Oh, I'm beginning to understand what's going on here. You are the reason for this. What? I come out of the jungle after six months. I haven't even had a chance to take a shower, and some lawyer starts knocking on my door to serve me with divorce papers, and now I understand why. Oh, hey, 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 oh, oh, hey, Mike. You got this all wrong. I'm Angela's, your wife's housekeeper. Ah, oh, come on, you can do better than that, huh? No, 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 I mean it. Look, 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 I got dishpan hands. Look, look, I got it. Tony, Tony, you don't owe Michael any explanation. What we do is none of his business. <laughs> Angela, we don't do anything. <laughs> Well, we could if we wanted to. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> oh, 
Tony, I thought maybe we could start a spring cleaning early. <laughs> sure. Squeeze the last drop of blood out of the old workhorse. Oh. <laughs> I just thought if we cleaned out the garage, we could store some of Michael's stuff in there. No, I mean, as soon as my stuff's out of the way, there'll be plenty of room. What are you talking about? Didn't Michael tell you he let me go? Let you go where? Anywhere I want, Angela. Get it up to speed. <laughs> I'm out. I'm fired. I'm canned. Who does he think he is? Your husband, remember? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and give him the right to... Don't worry, I'll take care of this. No, hey, Angela, wait, uh... You know, he's right. I don't belong here. Tony, this is your home. No, 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 it's, it's his home, and you're his family. No, you're not going. Angela, uh... You decide to give your marriage a second chance, right? Right. Well, then give it a chance. If Michael says I'm in the way, I'm in the way. Well, I don't think so. Angel, look, not many people get a second chance at their marriage. It's happening for you and Michael. You don't need some hairy Italian in an apron hanging around screwing it up. Great dinner, Angela. Thank you. Potatoes were fantastic. <laughs> Too bad the casserole blew up. It's all right. The oven cleans itself. <laughs> Michael, Angela? I... Oh, go ahead. Just, no, no. You oh, please, speak. after you. No, Michael. Angela... Michael, speak. Well, Angela, um... There is this expedition that's going to Zimbabwe. And? And, um, my company's asked me to recommend somebody to film it. And? And, uh, well, there are a couple of guys who could do it, but, you know, there is one guy who could really pull it off. You're leaving. Angela, I love you. But you know how hard it is for me to sit behind a desk? I mean, the only reason for me to be here is to be with you. But if you're so busy, and I love what you're doing, that you can't be with me, then I'd rather be where I'd rather be. So I'm going to Zimbabwe. Michael, I, I can't believe this. I was just going to say the same thing. You're going to Zimbabwe, too? No, 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 no. I, I mean about us. It, it, it can't work. I agree. Oh, Angela, you don't have to say this just to let me off the hook. No, no, I mean it. Oh, if, if you're sore and angry, I understand. No, 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 I was going to dump you first. <laughs> Really? Well, really, it, it doesn't matter who was going to say it first, but the point is, it's over. I mean, we could try to make it work. I could quit my job. I could ask you to stay. I think we'd both resent it, and then we'd end up hating each other, and I love you much too much to ever let that happen. Morning, Tony. <laughs> Morning, Angela. <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing, I swear. <laughs> what are you doing here? and she crawled into bed with me and then she took all the covers and I didn't want to wake her up and so I took her bed. Well, Jonathan told me Samantha had a nightmare so I came in here to comfort her. Well, she's in my bed. Well, I didn't know that. I mean, I came in here and it was just a lump underneath the covers. Don't you think that my lump is different than hers? <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> Come on, Angela, it was just an innocent mistake. Yes, you're right. It'll be our little secret. You know what? I'll tell you what. What? I'll go downstairs and make your favorite Belgian oh. waffles. Oh, great. Yeah? I just love when you put whipped cream on them. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go away. He said he was dying just to cover up the fact he's going to prison. Prison? Prison. The slammer, the the big house, the joint. Oh no! Oh, 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 that poor man. He was so ashamed of going to prison that he would rather have people think he was dead. Isn't that noble? <laughs> the man is scum. And I thought I was, I really thought I was finally getting along with him. Oh, Tony, you were. Yeah, well, it was all a big lie, Angela. So what do you want to do? You want to forget everything you said to each other and wait until he's really dying so you can start all over again? Why not? Well, he's your wife's father. 
He's your daughter's grandfather. Doesn't that mean anything to you? All right, Angela, I'll talk to him. All right, let's get one thing straight. You are slime. Yeah, I know, Unfortunately, I know. your family's slime. <laughs> Why'd you do what you did? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, that's all. Look, if I told you I was going to jail, you would have thought I was a bum. This way, you thought I was a big man. Wait a minute. You were worried about what I thought? Hey, remember me? I'm the one you're always calling a loser. N not good enough for your little girl. Nobody was good enough for my little girl. At least you got that right. Now that I uh, think about it, you came pretty close. Mother. Well, no, Angela, really. You see, I told, come here, buddy. I told Jonathan about the time uh, me and Johnny Cha Cha took a street sign. You stole a street sign? <laughs> Well, we, we, we didn't really steal it. What we did was we moved it to a new location. And, and you know, and this is the funny part here. Sit down. This is where it's it funny. Um, see, the sign said easy access. So what we did was we nailed it on the Roseanne Lord of Cena's bedroom window. Oh. Boy, I bet that did wonders for her social life. <laughs> Forget about it, Mona. Her stock soared. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Jonathan, we have a very serious problem here. And I want you to tell me what you think I should do about it. Send me to my room. I mean, I did the crime, I'll do the time. <laughs> right, Tony? <laughs> Where does he pick these things up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Wendy that you were a good cook. You and Wendy were talking about me? Well, we were talking about a lot of things. Yeah? What'd you say about me? <laughs> well, I, I just told Wendy that I was really glad that uh, I hired you. That's great, Angela, because I'm really glad you hired me, too. <laughs> this may surprise you, but... When I was a kid, I never thought I'd grow up to be a housekeeper. <laughs> no? no? Yeah, well, anyway, this is the best job I ever had. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. You know, I never thought I'd find somebody who... Uh, Jonathan's a great kid. <laughs> and, um, and I got a... I got a new best friend. And Mona. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I got a boss who, uh, who's, of course, uh... Who's what? She's okay. I just remembered what I told Wendy about you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I said that you were... okay. Oh, that's not... <laughs> That out. You think that's funny? You, you think that's funny? Hey, hey, I'm loud. I'm so loud. Hey, hey, 